Hello, everyone. Welcome to Jackson Genius. In this video, we will be getting an understanding of how the minute hand works when reading time to the nearest hour and half hour. Now, whenever the minute hand is pointing to the 12, as we can see here, this tells us that it is something o'clock. Because when the minute hand is pointing toward the 12, zero minutes have passed the hour that we are in. The hour hand tells us what hour we are in. So since the hour hand is pointing toward the 5, we can therefore see that it is 5 o'clock. Here we have been provided with a blank clock and we need to add the hour and minute hand in a way that shows it is 10 o'clock. Now, since this time is 10 o'clock, so we see the o'clock here, we know that the minute hand will point toward the 12. So let's add that in. The hour hand will tell us what hour we are in. Since we have been asked to show 10 o'clock, we can see that the hour hand will point toward the 10. And now we have been able to complete the blank clock given with 10 o'clock correctly. If you are finding this video helpful so far, then go ahead and hit that like button so that we can reach many more people to help them understand and enjoy mathematics. Here we have been provided with another clock, but this time the minute hand is pointing to the 6. Now here it is important to remember what we covered in part 1 of this series, which I will link in the description below. We learned that there are 60 minutes in one hour and that it takes 60 minutes for the minute hand to complete one full rotation of the clock. Now, since the minute hand is pointing at the 6, it has only completed half of its rotation around the clock. And since half of 60 minutes is 30 minutes, we can therefore understand that 30 minutes have passed. So when the minute hand is pointing to the 6, we say that it is half past something. Okay, here we can see that the hour hand is between the 2 and the 3. Okay, and this means that we are on our way to 3 o'clock, but we are not there yet. So only two full hours have passed. We would therefore read the hour as the earlier number, which is the two in this case. So the time would therefore be half past two. Here we have once again been provided with a blank clock and we need to add the hour and minute hand in a way that shows it is half past nine. Okay, now since we have been told it is half past nine, we know that the minute hand will point to the six. So let's add that in. We were asked to show half past nine on this clock. So we know that we are in the ninth hour. But remember that since the hour is headed toward the next hour, it is halfway toward the next hour, the hour hand will not point directly to the nine. Instead, it will be between the nine and the ten. Okay? 
And this shows that the hour hand is moving toward the next hour. This is how we show it is half past nine. Let's work through what we learned during this lesson. We learned how to read time to the nearest hour and half hour. When the minute hand points to the 12, we learned that that means it is something o'clock. The number that the hour hand is pointing to tells us which hour we are in. Now, when the minute hand is pointing to the six, this means it is half past something. We know that it means the minute hand is halfway through its rotation of the clock. And the hour hand will be between two numbers. The earlier number will tell us which hour we are in. Well, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!